this is Sir Romel and welcome to another episode of my video in Mathematics 6. Today we are going to take up about the relationships of volume of prisms and pyramids and other figures. So the first one is the volume of the cylinder. So in solving for the volume of cylinder, so we have V is equals to pi times r squared times height. Now we have here, given is the radius which is 3 meter and the height which is 5 meter. So our phi is equivalent to 3.14. Okay, so solution. So we have V is equals to yung pi natin is 3.14 times 3 which is the radius 3 meter squared okay times our height which is 5 okay so is equals to rewrite natin 3.14 times uh, 3 this is 3 squared so that is 3 times 3 which is equals to 9 then times 5 then 3.14 times 9 times 5 is 45 and then 3.14 times 45 is 141 and 3 tenths cubic meter. So by the way, the unit that you are going to use in volume is cubic unit. Okay. So our answer is 141.3 cubic meter. Okay, so the next example is volume of cone. So volume is equal to pi times r squared times height then divided by 3 okay so yung pi r squared times height that is the same as or that is the formula in solving for the volume of if you remember the volume of the cylinder so pagdating sa cone we just have to divide it by 3 okay for example we have the same uh, ano, the same given radius 3 meter then yung height is 5 meter so same answer if you remember yung sagot natin dito sa volume is 141.3 cubic meter so pag sinolve natin to so 3.14 times 3 squared times 5 divided by 3 then the same eto na yung uh, 141.3 which is the volume of this cylinder Divide it by 3, okay, so you get the volume of the cone, which is 47.1 cubic meter. Okay. So, I'm going to show you the relationship between the two, which about the cylinder and the uh, cone. Okay. So, Kanina yung volume ng same measurement, ha? radius 3 meter, then yung height is 5 meter, so same lang. So, with the same measurement, ang volume ng cone natin ay is, is 47.1 cubic meter. While yung cylinder natin is 141.3 cubic meter. Now, if you are going to multiply 47.1 cubic meter volume of the cone, times 3 you get 141.3 which is the volume of the cylinder okay and if you're going to divide 141.3 which is the volume of the cylinder divided by 3 you get 47.1 which is the volume of the cylinder ah, i mean the cone okay so as you can see the volume of a cone is 3 times that of a cylinder. So, to make it more simple, para mas maintindihan, ito. Okay. So, meaning, 3 cones with the same measurement as the cylinder is equals to 1 cylinder. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung lalagyan natin ng tubig itong cylinder natin, so you will need 3 cones with the same measurement, ha? Same radius, same height. So, lagyan nyo yung tubig itong tatlo, ibuhos nyo dito sa cylinder. So, sakto lang yan. So, 3 cylinder, ah, 3 cone is equals to 1 cylinder. Okay? Okay, 
So, let us try to answer this problem. No? So, the volume of a cone is 78 cubic meter. Find the volume of a cylinder with the same radius and height. So, here we are going to find the volume of a cylinder. Okay? With the same radius and height of the, uh, the cone. So, if the cone has a volume of 78 cubic meter, so what is the volume of the cylinder? So, sabi ko kanina, di ba? If you remember, 3 cones is equals to 1 cylinder. So, therefore, since volume of a cone is 3 times that of a cylinder, so 78 cubic meter times 3, that is equals to 234 cubic meter. So, the volume of the cylinder is 234 cubic meter. Okay, is that clear? So, if the times lang natin sa 3, yung volume ng cone, the times lang natin yung sa 3, para makuha natin yung volume ng cylinder. With the same radius and height, ah, the same measurement. So, for the volume of sphere, so we have the formula volume is equal to equals to 4 times pi times r cubed divided by 3. So, for example, we have a solution. So, from the formula 4 times pi, which is 3.14 times, yung radius niya, which is 3 cubed, okay, divided by 3. So, 4 times 3.14 times 27. Saan galing 27? That is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 then divided by 3 then 4 times 3.14 times 27 is 84.78 so 4 times 84.78 divided by 3 now 4 point times 84.78 is equal to 339.12 divided by 3 is 113.04 cubic Meter. So, this is the volume of the sphere. So, this is how you get the volume of the sphere. Next one is the volume of rectangular prism. So, volume of a rectangular prism is equals to length times width times height. So, let's say for example, we have the length is 10 cm, height is 5 cm, and then width is 3 cm. So, all we have to do is multiply the three sides so 10 times 5 10 which is the length 5 is the is the height and 3 is the width so by 10 times 5 times 3 so 10 times 5 is 50 times 3 you get 150 cubic centimeter okay that's how you get the volume of a rectangular prism now to get the volume of the pyramid so this is volume is equals to base times height so, ano ba yung base? Yung base, that is the length of the pyramid. Ito, itong baba na to, that is length, that is 10 cm. Then, the same measurement as the uh, rectangular prism kanina. No? Yung width natin is 3 cm and then yung height natin is the same, 5 cm. Okay? So, to get the base, yung base niya, na nasa formula, so we have to multiply length times width. Okay? So, 10 times 3, that is 30 square centimeter kasi yung base lang naman so area ng base yun okay so now solving this so as you can see base times site is divided by 3 din kung naalala nyo yung cone kanina that is the same with uh, this one the pyramid and the rectangular prism so volume is equal to base times height divided by 3 that is because uh the cylinder is, I mean, the pyramid is one third of the, uh, what do you call this? The rectangular prism. Okay, so using the formula base times height divided by 3. So what is our base? Our base is 30, then height is times 5, yung height natin, divided by 3. So 30 times 5 is equals to 150 divided by 3 we get 50 cubic centimeter. So, this is the volume of the pyramid. Okay? Now, now, let's try to look at the relationship between the rectangular prism and the pyramid. So, as you can see, the volume of the rectangular prism a while ago is 150 cubic centimeter. 
with the same measurement ah, ng uh, pyramid. So, length ay 10, height ay 5, width is 3 cm. So, the volume of the pyramid that we had a while ago, that is 50 cubic centimeter. So, 50 cubic centimeter times 3, you get 150 cubic centimeter. And that is the volume of the rectangular prism. So, meaning, tatlong pyramid, that is equals to 1 uh, rectangular prism. Now, if you're going to divide 150 cubic centimeter divided by 3, so we get 50. That is the volume of the uh, pyramid. So as you can see, the volume of a pyramid is 3 times that of a rectangular prism. To make it simple again, so meaning 3 pyramid is equals to 1 rectangular prism. Of course, with the same height, yan, ah? height, length, and width or base. Okay, so is that clear? So, let's have an example. Okay, the volume of a pyramid is 36 cubic meter. Find the volume of the rectangular prism with the same length and height. Okay? So, meaning, so same manusha, same measurement. Uh, so, Solution, since the volume of a pyramid is 3 times that of a rectangular prism, so 36 cubic meter times 3 is equals to 108 cubic meter. So, the volume of a rectangular prism is 108 cubic meter. Okay, so meaning, in 36 cubic meter na volume ng pyramid times 3 lang, you get already the volume of the rectangular prism course with the same sizes yung length width and height so sorry this is width and height okay okay so that's the end of our lesson for today so don't forget to like share and subscribe bye guys